High Water Energies, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages. Um, we're going to be taking a look at here and see what your romantic energy here is telling others about you and about this connection. Um, as always, guys, these messages are general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. Okay, so what is it that they're telling others about you? Page of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Moon, and Temperance here. Um, this person is definitely thinking about you, okay? But they're also talking about you here, guys. Your name is most certainly on their lips. Um, your person's energy is very distracted, okay? So even if uh, they are talking about you here, you feel like they have a tendency to maybe um, fabricate a truth they have a tendency to maybe stretch the truth I mean we all have a tendency to embellish stories but I feel like this person um, fab has a tendency to fabricate or stretch the truth a little bit a little bit sorry in order to make them appear make in order to make themselves appear a certain way in order to make themselves appear a little bit more um, personable or likable here so the page of swords yeah I definitely feel like your person here is still if the two of you here are not in um, if the two of you are currently not in a contact or communication with one another, your person is definitely thinking about you. I also feel like there's certain synchronicities, intuitive feelings, dreams, um, or messages that the universe is trying to sort of um, connect you with and let you know. Like, for example, a lot of you keep seeing 1111 for a reason, indicating this person is constantly thinking about you. Like, every time you look down at the clock, it's 1111. Um, some of you can't seem to get them out of your mind. It's not that you're obsessing about them. It's just that you can't stop um, thinking about them or you can't get their name out of their mind. Again, it's because this person is so heavily fixated on you that the energy that you're being a water energy, an intuitive water energy that you are, you're picking up their energy here. Okay, You're stepping into their energy field. Um, a lot of you are having dreams about this individual. But I feel like this is someone who wants to come back. So if the two of you are not in contact with one another, I can see that this person here is telling, that they're, they're telling their friends uh, about you. So their friends know very well who you are and just what kind of impression you made on them. This person is, the energy feels a little bit scattered. So they're either of shy demeanor and they're not sure how to approach the situation or either this person is... I'm getting that there's a lot of um, uncertainty in their life. This person is a little bit scattered. They're not very well organized, not in their thoughts and not in their um, life either here. So they're a little bit all over the place with what's going on. Um, they do want to reach out and I feel like they're trying to get advice from their friends here. You know, how do they reach out or what do they say? Um, what happens, you know, from there? What happens if you respond this way? What happens if you respond that way? I feel like this person is trying to get advice here um, and is trying to find out as much as they can about you as well. Because a page of swords is a spying card. So for a lot of you, this is someone who I feel like doesn't know you all that well. So they're trying to get as much information as they can. Like they're trying to Google search you, trying to search you across, you know, different social media platforms, see the type of people that you're connected with. This person is very curious. It's a very studious nature here with the Page of Swords. And this person wants to learn about you. I also feel like this is someone who hasn't had a relationship or hasn't been in a relationship for quite some time. So this is kind of, it feels all new to them. There's like such a nervousness type of energy here with the Page of Swords. So this is someone who I feel like, They've got like they think about you a lot and they've got a lot of um, they get a lot of, they get really nervous. OK, they get a, they get quite nervous, quite shaky when they're around you here and when they you know have to communicate with you. Um, I mean, the Queen of Wands, this is someone who's really attracted to you here. And I feel like this person has pictures. They've been showing pictures of their like showing your pictures to their friends. So kind of showing like showing you off in a way because this person is quite 
there's a um, there's quite an attraction there. There's quite a sexual energy that I can see that exists with the Queen of Wands. But again, your person doesn't know how to approach this and doesn't know how to approach your um, the situation here. Now, the strong sense of dualism with the Moon card here. I feel like this person is inconsistent, right? Hot and cold, on and off, up and down. We're a thing. We're not a thing. I'm here. I'm not here. Um, You don't know, you haven't seen this person's, it's not that you haven't seen their true character, you just haven't seen all of their colors yet. You haven't really seen this person for who they are, nor has this person seen you for who you are. So I feel like what I'm trying to say is this connection still feels like it's a little bit surface level. There's so much depth to this connection that the two of you are yet to explore, but I get that your person is scared and I feel like connecting energies around the person are well aware of their fears and insecurities as well when it comes to relationship. Now with temperance, I feel like your person is trying to wait for something. I don't know if he or she is waiting for the right time um, to connect with you. I don't know if this person is waiting for you to respond. I get a sense that they're sort of sitting around and waiting. Maybe this person has a date like a time and a date that they want to reach out and connect with you maybe it's like around their birthday or around your birthday maybe it's like it's like they're going to use something as an excuse to sort of connect with you here that's what i'm getting so it's like they're waiting they're waiting for the right time or they're waiting at a certain event so they could meet you there because they know you're going to be in attendance or they're waiting you know that you um finally respond to their text message or they're waiting that the two that you connect and link up with them on a social media platform it's like they're waiting for something here so again i don't feel like this person is too it's not that they're not too ambitious but i don't feel like this person is too um i get kind of more of a shy energy with them more of a shy demeanor and it seems like yeah this person's trying to buy their time for some reason um, and that's interesting here just going to go ahead and pull out some angel card messages here and um we just want to see What's going on with this person here? Um, deep inside here. So what's going on with their emotions here? Okay, within the next few weeks, there you go. Um, yeah, I feel like your person here is very likely to communicate here, um, to reach out within the next few weeks. Or you'll see some um, evidence of them that's going to start showing in your life, which then indicates that this person is coming back and making a return into your life. So that's all going to happen within the next few weeks here. Um, helpful people. I do feel like your, your person is talking to some very helpful people. And again, I feel like there's an energy, a connecting energy around your person. And this person is, it could be more than one person rather, they're vouching for the two of you. Okay, so this, this connecting energy sort of, you know, is encouraging your person is quite supportive and is encouraging a person to reach out and to connect with you they're encouraging this okay they're vouching for this they want to um they're shipping you they want to make this happen so you've got some very helpful people on your side here guys um you've got some very helpful people who i feel like want the best for you and want to manifest here and this is on your person's energy okay but they're vouching for you here abundance um your person knows what this could be your person knows just how much um, of an abundant and a fruitful connection this could be but I feel like your person is um, allowing sadly they're allowing their fears and their insecurities to dictate their actions which is why they're more of a closed off or reserved energy or which is why you know they may not be talking to you but they're most certainly talking about you here okay because they're not sure how to approach this situation I feel like they've done something that has made it awkward between the two of you like maybe you know they've gone casp on you they've ghosted you um, or they've pulled away the distance themselves and they don't know how to sort of rectify it they don't know how to reconcile it here hence why they're talking about you and not necessarily directly to you okay guys and this is your spread thank you for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking sharing commenting i will be sharing um, more tarot love messages with you so stick around bye for now